If you want to make videos like this, this video is for you. This video is for people who just want to make animations really quickly. They don't want to learn the technical stuff. Maybe you want to like pop in a stop motion animation in like a music video or like you want to animate an album cover or you just want something for yourself. Whatever it is and you don't want to learn all the little steps, you just want to get into it. You need to know some editing software probably, but yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you how to do it on a Canon and then I'm going to show you how to do it on an iPhone. First, you're gonna need an armature of some sort. This one was $300 from a guy that I knew of another guy through a stop motion studio. These are really reliable, or you can make one out of wire. This is where you would connect the rig. Then you're gonna need clay, obviously, unless you're using a doll. Then just a nice camera. Make sure you have a USB to USB-C to plug it into your computer. You're going to need a tripod for your phone and a wireless Bluetooth remote controller so you don't shake the camera when you're taking your photos. It's really important to keep it steady. And I got this rig from the same person that I got the armature from. This part goes into the back of the armature. There's two places for it. You're gonna need clothes for your doll if you want. I got these off of eBay and a friend. Then you're gonna need a green screen. This is just paper. And then you can have the option of bringing props in. I used a green screen chair to use an effect of a character sitting in a car. And then this is Dragon Frame. This is for if you want to animate with a DSLR. Just go to dragonframe.com. So let's open up Dragon Frame. Just click new scene and then title it whatever you want. Um, frame rate, just keep that 24. Uh, if it's okay. Click where you want to save it. I just saved it in a folder called Alien and hit new take. And then, so it'll open up like this on this page and then you're gonna plug in your camera with the tether and it should pull up its view here in a second. It'll say allow accessory to connect, just hit allow. And then switch your camera to make sure it's in manual mode. And then just setting up the rig here with the character. I'm just gonna have him like kind of walk across. I had to use my other lens for this, so it's a little close. We're not gonna do like a walk cycle, but it's just gonna be like mid shot of his body. We're gonna go up here and click show keypad. It's on window. Click the record button to take a photo and we're just gonna click open cinematography workspace to kind of check out our lighting with that first take and go into the camera settings and kind of play with the ISO and also play with the ISO on your camera and then just get it to a good place where it doesn't look too bright or too dark. Oh, I also meant to mention obviously put lighting up. So I just was playing with my camera's ISO just scrolling on the side and then I went within, you go to camera settings, so click that camera icon, and then it, it'll show these camera settings where you just drag that top bar. That's all you need to mess with, really. Okay, I just clicked my first photo. Sorry, the keypad's a little scooted to the left. So I'm just going to do little movements. Little movements go a long way. It just makes it look more of a flow. Just moving them a little bit. He's just gonna kind of glide across. So I'm gonna make his arms just swing. So it kind of looks like he's walking and then moving him just like up a little bit while the arms go opposite of each other. And then just keep hitting that button, step out of the way, and...
And I'm going to hit play just to watch playback how it's going so far. And you can always, like, if you mess up something, you can delete the photo and try to put a, him back, like, in the same position. Like, if you went too far, you can do that. Okay, so finish that. We're going to export it now. And you're going to want to just keep, let's see, just do a QuickTime ProRes HQ, name it something. Export. And then it'll be there in your folder. Uh, skip that overexposed part. Um, there it is. All right, now we're going to take the video and put it in Premiere. <laughs> That's me congratulating myself. Um, save it in our same folder. Drag it in. Take out those first test shots there. And then now let's find a background. I'm just gonna like find a random ethereal parking lot. I end up using this for some reason. Whatever background you want. And then ultra key. Key out the green with the key, eyedropper tool. Okay, now we're gonna go back into Ultra Key. Um, just put the pedestal up, I always do that. And I mess with contrast. I notice it just cleans it even more. And then we're gonna mask the character to get that rig out of the photo and or video and do a keyframe of the mask. Keyframe the mask, click that little time code button and keyframe, move up. Just, this part's annoying, but very necessary. Um, so I just move it to where we can't see the rig anymore. I messed up there, so I'm taking off that little part, going back, and then just go forward, select all the little points. Yeah, so.
All right. I'm going to color the alien a little bit so it's not as dull looking. Um, and choke on the green screen a little bit. I The ultra key, sometimes I'll do like choke and soften also helps a lot. Um, and I'm just duplicating it and looping it here. Yeah, here's the final result. Okay, so we're gonna do this on the phone now, but I'm just gonna animate him really fast. We're not gonna like edit it in Premiere, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it on a phone. So you're gonna open the app, click new movie, click the settings button and just slide that cursor to, I just do like 23 frames, 24 frames. Doesn't matter, I mean it does, but for the sake of going quick. Um, and then get your Bluetooth controller set up your man's on his little couch and then i click i don't know why on the phone i click the photo twice like i do two frames per second of the same so i just hit that button twice for just that take and then i'm moving him a little bit hitting it twice again i just i don't know why i just i think you can do one and like slow it down a bit, but it just seems to not be so quick when you do two photos per frame. It's just like an OCD thing. I don't know why I do two photos per frame just to make it a bit slower or something. But you can do one per frame and then slow it down in Premiere by a hair or whatever. You can always, if you do the f wrong frame rate, I've noticed you can just export, slow it or speed it up and Premiere. And then export from the app. And you're done. This is the result of like the guy on the couch. Thank you for watching, that's it. If you have any questions, I'll comment back on anything below, or you can email me, whatever. Um, thank you for watching, and hit like or subscribe, please.